history of atomic theory. The atomic theory has evolved over millennia, shaped by a mix of philosophical insights and scientific discoveries. From ancient Greece to the 20th century, our understanding of the atom has transformed dramatically, laying the foundation for modern physics and chemistry. Today we're looking at some history of atomic theory, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the History Channel and drop by the comments to let us know which other high-profile video you'd like to hear about next. 1. Early Philosophical Ideas, 5th Century BCE The concept of the atom originates from ancient Greek philosophers. The word atom comes from the Greek word atomos, meaning indivisible. This idea was first proposed by Leucippus and his student Democritus in the 5th century BCE. They speculated that everything in the universe is made of tiny indivisible particles called atoms, which move through the void, empty space. According to them, different materials were composed of atoms of various shapes and sizes, and all observable changes were the result of atoms rearranging. However, this idea was purely philosophical, without any experimental evidence to back it up. At the time, rival theories, like those proposed by Aristotle, suggested that matter was continuous and composed of four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. Aristotle's ideas dominated for centuries, and the atomic theory faded from mainstream thought. 2. The Revival of Atomism, 17th to 18th century The atomic theory was largely dormant until the Age of Enlightenment, when natural philosophers began to revive and refine ancient ideas in the context of empirical science. Robert Boyle, in the 17th century, rejected Aristotle's notion of the four elements and favoured a more mechanical understanding of matter, paving the way for future atomistic theories. However, it wasn't until the 18th century, when Antoine Lavoisier developed the law of conservation of mass, that modern chemistry began to take shape. Lavoisier demonstrated that mass is neither created nor destroyed during chemical reactions, leading scientists to believe that matter must be composed of discrete, unchanging entities. 3. Dalton's Atomic Theory, Early 19th Century The first scientifically backed atomic theory was proposed by John Dalton, an English chemist and physicist, in 1803. Dalton's theory was grounded in experimental data and helped explain the laws of chemical combination. Dalton's key postulates were, matter is made of indivisible atoms. Atoms of a given element are identical in mass and properties. Atoms combine in fixed ratios to form compounds. Atoms are neither created nor destroyed in chemical reactions, only rearranged. Dalton's theory explained the law of definite proportions. Joseph Proust's finding that chemical compounds always contain the same elements in the same proportions by mass, and the law of multiple proportions, when two elements form multiple compounds, the mass ratios are small whole numbers. Dalton's work laid the foundation for the modern understanding of chemical reactions. 4. Discovery of subatomic particles. Late 19th, early 20th century. As scientific techniques advanced, researchers began to probe deeper into the structure of the atom. In 1897, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron using a cathode ray tube. This discovery revealed that atoms were not indivisible as Dalton had proposed, but rather composed of smaller particles. Thompson proposed the plum pudding model, where the atom was a positively charged sphere with negatively charged electrons scattered throughout, like plums in a pudding. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford performed the famous gold foil experiment, where he bombarded a thin sheet of gold with alpha particles. Most particles passed through, but some were deflected at large angles. This led to the conclusion that atoms have a dense, positively charged nucleus at their center, with electrons orbiting around the nucleus. Rutherford's model marked the first significant shift toward our modern understanding of atomic structure. 5. Bohr's Model and Quantum Mechanics, 1913 to 1930s. In 1913, Niels Bohr refined Rutherford's model by introducing the concept of quantized electron orbits. Bohr's model explained how electrons could occupy only certain allowed orbits, with fixed energies. When electrons jumped between orbits, they emitted or absorbed specific amounts of energy, explaining the spectral lines of hydrogen. Bohr's work integrated early quantum theory with atomic structure, though it only accurately described hydrogen. 
The 1920s saw the birth of quantum mechanics, which further refined the atomic model. Erwin Schrödinger developed the wave equation, which treated electrons as wave-like entities. Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle posited that it's impossible to precisely determine both the position and momentum of an electron. The Schrödinger equation led to the idea of electron clouds or orbitals, where electrons are likely to be found rather than fixed orbits. 6. The discovery of the neutron, 1932. Another critical milestone came in 1932 when James Chadwick discovered the neutron, a neutral particle within the nucleus. This discovery completed the picture of atomic structure, explaining why atomic masses did not correspond exactly to the number of protons alone. Neutrons and protons together make up the atomic nucleus, while electrons orbit around it. 7. Modern Atomic Theory Today, atomic theory is a cornerstone of both chemistry and physics. The standard model of particle physics describes the atom as composed of protons and neutrons, which are themselves made up of even smaller particles, called quarks. Electrons belong to a class of particles known as leptons. Forces within the atom are mediated by particles like photons, for electromagnetic forces, and gluons, for the strong nuclear force. The development of atomic theory has not only transformed our understanding of matter, but has also led to groundbreaking technologies, including nuclear power, medical imaging, and the study of fundamental particles in high energy physics. Thanks for watching this video. Before we are ending the video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.